Josh Birnbaum, co-founder and chief investment officer of Tilden Park Capital Management, finds alpha in complexity. He's happy to see others get scared off from hard to understand structured securities, while he digs into the details to find value for his investors. Birnbaum talks about the challenges in a low volatility environment, where it's more difficult to find trends and opportunities. We tend to go slower than others sometimes. We tend to be uh, doing longer analyses, doing more homework, the way I like to think of it. But once we finish our analysis, we tend to be more conviction oriented. And in the current environment, there are still pockets of opportunity out there that if you're willing to roll up your sleeves and do the homework, uh, quite frankly, you can still find, find alpha. You can still find outsized returns. It's been a challenging environment for many investors. This low vol, lower for longer environment has been very challenging to find trends and find opportunities when a lot of this yield has been squeezed out of every market, including the equities market, given the performance of the market last year. The way we try to approach it is kind of a balanced approach where, on the one hand, there are still markets uh, where you can find many distressed trading opportunities where you're getting paid for complexity. So you get some yield from that and you use some of that yield to go out and find in selected markets cheap options for the when and if uh, the environment changes and volatility increases. And we actually think that given the low vol environment we're seeing today, there will be a large dislocation. We saw kind of a miniature version of that last year during the so-called taper tantrum when interest rates uh, doubled within a re relatively short period of time and many fixed income investors were really on the defensive. And then the Fed kind of came in and assuaged the markets and that ended. But if we, we could actually have an, a, a situation where there's more follow through to that kind of a dislocation. So we've been trying to prepare for that while at the same time not have to get the timing exactly right because as we know, it, you know the Fed could be dovish for quite some time. The, the, the fact that you've had massive deleveraging in the banks, the fact that the Volcker rule has had an impact on really the reduction and almost elimination of all prop deaths and even the dealer operations take way little, you know, way less proprietary risk than they, than they used to. It's our view that although we're in a low vol environment right now, because we're in a low vol envir environment right now, we're not seeing the full effects of this. When the markets begin to move and investors need to move risk, they're going to find that there's no longer the same shock absorbers out there that there used to be. We think that creates a tremendous opportunity. If you can monitor the markets where there are potential dislocations from the reduction or the elimination of shock absorbers, you can make a lot of money out of that. And that's, that's something that we don't necessarily see as a tomorrow thing or a next month thing. But I think we're going to find over the next few years there will be dislocations that people are not anticipating whether it's the Fed exit or, or, other, uh, or other risks that are not anticipated. And a lot of risk needs to be moved uh, from places that maybe it is not a natural long-term place right now. And, and I don't think investors are, are fully analyzing the liquidity that, 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 that is out there. We want to get involved there. We want to be liquidity providers when the traditional liquidity providers are not there. And we think we can really get paid for that.